Hey everybody and welcome to game three of EA versus Palantir. Tied up so far one to one. One win for each side. Looking to see who goes up in game three. Palantir. I don't actually Palantir? know. I don't actually know. I haven't seen the game, but Palantir. Mm, yeah. So I'll be on the side of EA. Like, I've I've got I've got no reason to believe it, but I'm one hundred percent certain. Wow. Yeah. That's like really certain for for no reason. Yeah, if I had anyone's life to bet on this, this it's done. Wow. Okay. So there we go. Yeah, you better win. <laughs> From the bottom left on Howling Peak, we have for Team EA, B Battle. And in the upper right, for Palantir, Vero. I'm kind of curious with B Battle. Can you have a stutter when you're typing? The battle. Maybe it's like Korean where it's just an emphasis on the B, so it's like battle. You just have to do it harder. Battle. <laughs> There's this interesting paradigm where when you double up letters in the Korean language, it just makes them more forceful. That's why you see people like Bubyong. Wait a minute, so then shouldn't it be battle? No, 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 no. The Bs are strong. But what about the Ts? Oh, I guess the Ts are doubled you're, up. You're right, you're right. There are two Ts in a row. It would be kind of like that. Little. I, I guess. I'm going to do this with every English word from now on. Oh, well, this is terrible. I'm really sad this happened again. <laughs> what do you do with double O sounds? Hoot. Hoot? Huh, that's hard to say. Well, this is reaching crisis levels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be paralyzed with linguistic curiosity for a couple of moments here. Yeah, and again we have a PvP with our Protoss expert missing today. Uh, it's too bad I have to watch my language with this cast because there's so many words I want to try now. <laughs> oh well, I'm glad you're watching it. Anyway, <laughs> back to the game. So we get to continue to cast. <laughs> we'll see Vero and Bavadal. Both building their gateways at the same time. And getting gas. None from the battle yet. Yeah. No gas. Battle is is still gasless. Ah, there it goes. So a little bit about the players. The battle has played one game thus far. He has owned one. So he's looking to take his first win in the HGL. Vero, however, is a veteran. He is uh, two and three, the same as his team. So he is like his team, Palantir. Looking to go up to 3-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm. We'll see if that happens. It will happen. Okay. Both players continuing to scout. Sort of. Just chilling the bottom of the ramp to the top. What you doing with the battle probe? And so far, everything looks about the same. Only a 20-second difference in gas. Oh, second gas going down. Vero. Vero getting two gas first. His cyber nexus core is also just a little bit advanced compared to the battle. Yeah, and I about think six seconds that on him. pretty well cinches the victory for Palantir. Like, it's over. Yeah, I mean, the battle well played. Thanks for coming, but give up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just just look at that cyber core. Uh, how much shame do you feel right now? <laughs> no, really, it's it's fine. Yeah, he's gonna be just a little bit. Gonna be perfectly fine. So, if, uh, Stalker, if, if battle wins, though, I will be crushed. Just. Stalker first from from Vero, and we'll see that he has a second gateway right away. Um, if he goes with that three stalker rush, I would like it. I like that. It's a good build. And this is this is the fun time in the life of a zealot for a battle. You're oh my! Whoa! Slight overreaction there from a battle. Yeah, jumping <laughs> it's like out. A bit of a boxing incident there where he may have gotten a few too many units in yeah. that group. <laughs> yeah. And the zealot will continue to fail at killing the thing. Somebody called in a bomb threat on that probe, and everybody just kind of freaked out for a couple of seconds. <laughs> but it's just people from. People from the Protoss High School. And Vero will go out because here scouting. Those people are bad. Anyway, it's dropping that analogy and moving on. Stargate from Vero. Cool. So, air toss. Big deal in Heart of the Swarm. And four gates. Still happen in Heart of the Swarm. So, the battle. Getting that four gate going. And Vero is going to be countering with a Stargate. We'll see if he can make it work. Now, so far, he has it rallied all the way over here at the enemy base. Do so he think, probably wants to make an oracle. You think that might be an oracle I building? Think I think it's an oracle, yeah. Think, you think that path might be good for an oracle to sneak I, behind the base and kill a bunch of stuff? In fact, it is. Because oracles do that? <laughs> they do. So here we have a micro battle. Vero moving in on the enemy stalker gets it. And will he escape the zealot? Yes, it looks like he will with that three stalker rush that I love oh so much. Sacrifices some hull damage for a guaranteed kill on both the stalker and the zealot. And he's just, he's just hanging in there. He's just such a little trooper. And now he's dead. 
Yeah, that was a great job by Vero. And now building that full of proxy pylon. However, secret proxy pylon. We oh, I hit it from you too. The battle moves in with the stalkers, jumping on the probes, knocking down the pylons. There's one oracle here, but it's no good against stalkers. It's still it's actually pretty good against stalkers. stalkers. I mean, it's not bad. It's it's good against two stalkers. The battle taking out that one weakened stalker, trying to hit the oracle, doesn't get it. It's starting to lose stalkers. One down. What's the probe count looking like? Wait a minute, it looks Six like workers it looks like the Oracle cast a spell. Its T spell is recharging, which I believe is the vision one? In vision, yeah. I think there might have been a little misclick that, here. That maybe was in the misclick. Yeah. That that Oracle would have been super useful. Vero, in his panic, has cast the wrong spell and lost more workers the second warp in of the battle. This is going incredibly well all of a sudden for the EA player. And Vero drops the game, a battle takes his first win in the After Hours Gaming League, and EA goes up 2-1. to one. And I would like to note that even though Palantir lost, they were the first Protoss in a PvP to build an Oracle, which is a victory in a way. Uh, but the real victory goes to In me, the most important way. Me and EA. And me. Are we done? Because I'm shamed. Yep, we're done. We're going to go on to game four, and we'll be right back.